Hello, Grade Eight. Welcome to another lesson in music listening. We are in Week Nineteen, and we're going to be discussing musical ensembles. Now, what are musical ensembles? When two or more people perform or sing together, we call it an ensemble. It is important for our active listening because we must be able to hear different instruments in an ensemble. It can include different voices or instruments or group the same instruments together. There are duets, trios, quartets, and many more combinations. Then there are bigger combinations such as an orchestra or a big band. It is important that we know the different kinds of ensembles so it may help us in our musical analysis. Although there are different combinations of instruments and the number of people in an ensemble, there is a standard combination for the main types of music ensembles we find today. All other styles, such as African or Indian, can be performed in the following musical ensembles by adding or removing certain instruments. Remember, guys, that nothing is set in stone. We're going to be looking at the three um, main ensembles, which will be classical chamber music, the jazz ensemble, the rock and pop band. Now, when you play an instrument alone or you sing alone, we call it a solo. When you are performing with another person or another instrument, then it's a duet. Two other people will be a trio. Then if it's four instruments, a quartet. Five instruments, a quintet. Six instruments, a sextet, and so on and so forth. Classical chamber music. Now, chamber music ensembles can be smaller ensembles in Western classical music, like duets, trios, quartets, quintets, sextet, septet, octet, nonet and dectet, which describes groups of up to 10 musicians. Larger classical groups are called concert bands or symphony orchestras. Now below, we have a diagram of how the instruments in an orchestra would be sitting. On your left, we'll have the first violins and the second violins at the front. Then at the back, we have the hub and percussion. In the middle, we have the violas right at the front. The flutes, the oboes are right next to each other. Clarinets and bassoons next to each other. Then at the back, French horns, trombones, trumpets, and the tuba. Then on your left in the front, we have a cello or other cellos, and then right at the back, it's double basses. This is how it may look like on a front view. Then we have the jazz ensemble. As with classical music, jazz ensembles can be found in different combinations of instruments and a number of players. Jazz trios may include the following combinations piano, bass, and drums, or the Hammond organ, drums, and a different instrument. Jazz quartets will typically add a horn to the trio. Quintets and sextets will add more soloing instruments or additional chordal instruments. Larger ensembles will vary depending on the style of jazz being performed. For an example, a Dixieland jazz band will have a banjo, woodwinds or horns, and a swing big band, a larger ensemble, is formed by adding sections such as the saxophone or trumpet. This is the diagram for a jazz big band. As I said with Dixieland jazz bands, you would have a banjo in the band. Then this will be a quartet, a jazz quartet, where it's piano, bass and drums, and also a singer. 
rock and pop band. The smallest ensemble that is commonly used in rock music is the trio format. We call it the power trio, which consists of electric guitar player, an electric bass player, and a drummer, where one or all the members sing. As with other ensembles, a band can consist of four or more band members, usually another guitarist, singer, or keyboard player. Now, with the picture that we have in front of us, we notice that it's an old ensemble where it, is, it has drums, guitars, and a keyboard player as well. They are all singing, as you can see with the mic stand. Then a power trio as well, where, as I said, guitar player, electric bass, and a drummer with a vocalist. Then the next setup, mostly a lot of pop bands consist of a guitarist, bass player, drummer, keyboardist, and a singer. 